This past winter, I installed this excellent Bright Eyes rechargeable bicycle light on my Mammoth 2.0 fat bike. And it's worked out really, really well. But in order to be legal in Oregon for bicycle operation out on the street, I still needed a tail light. And because I don't do a whole lot of uh, nighttime riding on the bike so far, I just never got around to ordering a tail light until now. I found these on uh, Amazon Prime. It's the Saigon LED Safety Light 3 pack. I paid $13.99 for a uh, package of three. They include three Velcro straps for mounting. They come with batteries already installed and they ship with an extra pair of CR2032 batteries. They come in many, many different color combinations and the one I chose was the two white and one red LED. Now I've already taken one of the white lights and uh, put it in my hunting pack and it's kind of buried in there so I don't want to get that out right now. But we'll fire this uh, white one up uh, towards the end of the review. So I'm going to use the red one to put on my fat bike as a tail light and I'm going to have to figure out a way to mount that. They do come with the uh, Velcro mounting straps but I'm not sure if that's going to work for me. Here's your uh, extra batteries right here, enough to put batteries in one of the lights. You get this tiny little screwdriver, which will come in very handy for changing the batteries in uh, the lights if you ever need to do that, because I guarantee you, you're probably not gonna find one in your toolbox this size. These have three modes on them, steady, flashing, and strobe. Let's take the red one out to the garage and uh, try to mount it to my bike. Yeah, see though, that's not gonna be tight. Yeah, that's not gonna work. That's what I mean right there. Yeah, that looks like crap, but worse than that, I've got this kind of movement. And I think from uh, the vibration of riding the bike, that's gonna flop around. Okay, time for plan B. I've got some 11 inch black plastic zip ties here. And I think I found a way to make this work. Right about there. So there it is. It is kind of at an angle, but it's on there nice and snug. It's not gonna move anywhere. And it should be easy on and easy off relatively. I'll switch the light off here. Okay, there's the steady mode. Now let's try flashing. Or is that strobing? I'm not sure. Oh, that must be strobe. And mode number three, that's flashing. I like that one best. These clips operate so easily you can put it on anything on your pack, any available strap or ring or D-ring or molly webbing. We'll test this one tonight too. So I'll meet you all later when it gets dark. So, let me see if I can find the switch. There. Okay, there's the steady light. Nice and bright. There's the strobe. That's nice. And the third mode should be blinking. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, that's a great tail light. Great tail light. And let's not forget about the uh, clear model. Check that out. That is bright. Let's pretend I got stranded out in the woods, so I put my little white strobe on my truck antenna. Turn it on. Oh, 
Wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Another really handy use of these would be uh, in my tent. It's just area lights inside or maybe even outside the tent. Turn my flashlight off. Okay, so if you're looking for a mountain bike tail light or a small survival light for your pack or a night light to uh, put in your tent or to use when you're uh, walking the trails at night, you might look into getting some of these.